Hello, hello. Welcome to Shofar Blessings 52. It's the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's the joy of the Lord that bring forth miracles. It's the hey, hey, hey of yo, hey, bye, hey <laughs> day. It's a good day to be a good day. It's a wonderful day uh, to love God, to, to seek his face, to, uh, to be in his presence when you stir it up. You know, uh, I heard um, my rabbi, uh, Dr. O, was teaching about the presence of the Lord, how the Lord is everywhere, but his presence is not. In other words, we're something that we have to do. We got to stir up the joy of the Lord in us and then release it into the atmosphere. And other people get, they'll get, um, get addicted to the joy of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What do you think about that, sweetie? Well, I like to say welcome to Shofar <laughs> Blessings 52. <laughs> yes, Glory to God. My name is Nelita Hayes oh, yeah. with my husband, Tony Hayes. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And it is a good day to have a good day. Yeah. But there's a reason why he usually says that. Yeah. And it's not just to have something to say. It's because there is joy on the inside of us, and we need to learn how, how to, to stir up stir that joy. Let it explode. Joy is Amen. a force. Joy, joy is a force. It can right. shift your attitude. It can shift the atmosphere around you. Amen. So we have to learn how to stir up the joy of the Lord Amen. that's in us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we had yeah. something that we wanted to start with today. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, Glory to we're God. Gonna that I figured right. Tony will be putting on, yeah. to just stir up the joy that's on the inside of us. It's something that we do all the time. Amen. We stir it up with singing, hallelujah, Amen. laughter. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Feel the joy, feel glory, the joy. Glory. <laughs> glory to God. Here we go, here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. His face shine upon you. And he will give you his peace. Fragrance of holiness where angels come to bless. Activate your life so amazingly. Show far blessings 52. Show far blessings 52. <laughs> So far, blessings 52. Bless you and keep you. His face shine upon you. And he will give you his peace. The fragrance of holiness where angels come to bless. Activate your life so amazingly. So far, blessings 52. Show far blessings fifteen to Adonai, Adonai rejoicing over you, Adonai singing over you, Adonai dancing over you, Adonai rejoicing, Adonai rejoicing. Show far blessings fifteen to. Show far blessings fifteen to Adonai, Adonai rejoicing, Adonai singing, Adonai rejoicing over you, <laughs> Adonai singing, Adonai dancing, Adonai rejoicing over you. 
It's the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Come on, Adonai dancing over you. Adonai singing, Adonai dancing, Adonai rejoicing over you. Show far blessings fifty-two. <laughs> Show far blessings fifty-two. Show far blessings fifty-two. Bow, bow. Show far blessings fifty-two. Okay. Glory, 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 glory. glory. Hallelujah. 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 You know, with dancing yeah. and singing and rejoicing, yeah. hallelujah, you can stir up the joy of the Lord that's on the inside of you. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yeah, the joy of the Lord is our strength, a mighty king, a mighty God. They say in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. Amen. And his presence is so awesome. It's so powerful. Once you get into the presence of God, and once you get once you get in His presence, a feeling that you will never forget. It's so beautiful. It's so peaceful. It's so blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Uh -oh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. some joy. <laughs> it's all. It's all it's about all right. the joy. It's all good. It's all yeah. good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What's We're so scripture? glad to yeah. have you with us today. Yeah. Praise God, because joy is a force. Amen. And when you're, no matter what circumstance you might be in, if you stir up the joy of the Lord that's on the inside of you, do you know it will uplift your spirit? Do you know it will change the way you feel? Have you ever been in a, a situation where maybe you're in a, a room with people and, and okay, okay, enough joy, no. <laughs> You might be in a room, you might be in a situation, maybe there's a discussion going on, and sometimes a, a tension might come or, you know, a little offense beginning to rise up. And have you ever been in a situation and one person might just interject a little laughter, a little joy, a little joke, and it will just shift mm -hmm. the whole atmosphere. That's right. That's because joy is a force. Amen. Amen. Joy is a force. Yeah. And we need to learn to activate it intentionally. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. You know, you made me think about uh, Nehemiah uh, when they were building the walls around Jerusalem. Mm. I mean, yeah, yeah, bring, yeah, Nehemiah, and uh, they had they had they had a joy in them that the enemy couldn't even take away. He couldn't steal their joy. Mm. You know, it was I was I would call it the fifty-two days of joy. <laughs> everywhere they were going, every, in the scriptures talks about everywhere Nehemiah went, the shofar went with him. So it was 52 days of the sound of the shofar and of joy. And they had strength to do a miracle that was never been done on the earth before. They built the walls in 52 days. Mm. Uh, and, you know, five and two or seven, and something about the 52 is, is uh, I'm still studying it out. Every time I, I think I'm ready to teach on it, God showed me something else about the number 52. Even when I was in Africa, I heard some Dr. O said about the frequencies of our heart, you know, connects to the number 52. And that really made me say, whoa. So... I'm really, I'm really searching it out, you know, and I, I thank God for him. He's, he's an um, amazing brother uh, that walks in a lot of wisdom about, uh, yeah, he's just an amazing brother. Hopefully he'll be on the show one, one day soon. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, the Nehemiah, uh, they, they, had, they had the joy of the Lord. They had the joy that was so profound that even when the enemy was all the accusations and the stuff was coming at them, them brothers... They had the spear in one hand, and they was building walls in the other hand. So and then weren't they blowing the shofar? And they was sounding the shofar. Yeah, you know, sound of the shofar. And, and they was they was releasing that sound. That's where the joy of the Lord, I think, is on Nehemiah four twenty. I told you, I think you were there, brother. I was there. I believe really, I, really, I really was there because I. It's, it's like, you want to hear what it sounded like? In case you don't know, I'm gonna do it. Okay, well, I'm back with Nehemiah, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that sound, that sound, that sound has a frequency to it. And it's also it's a calling sound to worship God. It's a fact the first time the sound was recorded in scriptures that, that we I understand it is over in Exodus 19. There was lightning and there was thunder and there was uh, uh, the earth was shaking and there was a sound of the shofar. Mm. And it was it was a father's love reaching out 
to what he had brought them out of Egypt, you know. And it was really released around the time of the Passover because they had just came out, which we headed towards Passover now, I believe. Praise right? God. Praise yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. heading toward Passover. Well, you, were, you were talking about the sound of the shofar and the Father's love. I thought about, you know, we, we added in that song about Adonai rejoicing and yeah, singing over you. Yeah, because Zephaniah. That, that's in Zephaniah 317. Right, And right. I, I'll read it. It says, um, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee mm -hmm. is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. Mm. He will rest in his love. He will joy over you with singing. Come on now. So if the Father is rejoicing the, over the us, father the Father is, is singing over us, the Ooh. Father is dancing over Ooh. us, hallelujah, Boy. shouldn't we give it back to him? That's right. When we come into an a, a atmosphere where we're worshiping and we gather together to worship him, I know sometimes some people have a hard time yeah. just rejoicing and raising their hands in the presence of the Lord yeah. and, and dancing in the presence of the Lord. Maybe they think they feel silly. They think, you know, oh, well, you don't know what I'm going through and I got this going on, I got that but going on. But joy is a way Regardless to Regardless of that's what right. we have going on, that's right. That's right. That's a, you can shift your atmosphere. You can shift your circumstances <laughs> if you release the force of joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's beautiful, sweetie. You got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can well, the Bible says that, <laughs> what, over in Isaiah 12, 3, uh -huh. oh, it says, yes. yeah, hallelujah, yeah. it says, therefore, with joy mm -hmm. shall we draw from the wells of salvation. Yes. So it's down in you. Hallelujah. Amen. You're looking for the salvation. You're looking for the, the Lord to come and rescue you in whatever situation you may be in. Yes. Hallelujah. Will you draw with joy? With you draw. draw. From the wells, wells of, of salvation. salvation. Dig it up deep from within. Get you a big yeah. cup and scoop it up. Hallelujah. Yeah. Get the joy and scoop up that that's salvation. That's right. Bring it yeah. and release it out of you. It, it's in you. That's right. Everything you need is in you. Right. So release it. Release. Don't let the enemy trick you and tell you, oh, no, I can't smile or I can't, you know, rejoice. I can't sing. I can't dance yeah. because this is going yeah. on. Yeah. Scrap Whatever the enemy got yeah. going on. That's right. That's right. I'm going to dance. I'm going to sing. sing. Hallelujah. Amen. Your praises will continually be on my lips, oh, Lord. I'm going to lift my hands. I'm going to dance. And I used to always say this. I will make, if, if I'm around and people around me don't seem to be wanting to get into the, the worship and don't want to get into praise, Daddy, I'll make myself so, a committee of one, amen. and I will worship you. That's if right. nobody else will Come open their mouth out. and sing out, I will, I will worship, worship you. you I will praise, praise you. Your name. Begin Amen. to do that. Yeah. And you'll begin to feel your circumstance. If the circumstances around you mm -hmm. don't immediately change, you will be changed on the inside. I guarantee you that. That's right. Because the force of joy will shift. It'll shift your mind. It'll shift your way of thinking. Yes. And it'll shift the atmosphere, atmosphere around, around you. It'll begin to shift people that, around you because that joy attracts. A joy, but not only that, when that joy starts coming out of you, the scripture says, out of our belly should what, flow rivers, rivers of, living, of water. living water. Can you imagine having some joy water coming out of you? Oh, <laughs> Boy, that's some tasting good water. Hallelujah. I mean, hey, that but, might be a business, a joy uh, water. Uh, joy water. <laughs> but you know, yeah, you know, it's, and, and then once you get into the joy of the Lord, then the presence of God and, you know, comes, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say that he invades, but I say his presence is already here, but we uh, we stir it up with that joy, like like the Lord was teaching yes, us about. Yes. He's, God is everywhere. He said. He said, but His presence is not. I mean, that we have something to do. We have to go for and stir up that joy and that gifts. You know. Mm. And I want to share something about once you, once you get into the presence of God and you get a vision about it, you, you, you you'll never be the same. Once you taste that, you you want it again. You want to taste it again. To so taste mm. and see the goodness of, of of the Lord. Amen. Amen, so I'm going to read amen. something real quick on something. Just, just, uh, Don't have to be quick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. It's talking about his presence. He said, to feel his presence before you see his body clothed with the garment of praise. Hmm. To feel his presence before you see his hair white like snow. To feel his presence before you see his eyes like flames of fire. To feel his presence before you see his, first, his feet like fine brass. To feel his presence before you hear his voice like many waters. To feel mm. his presence before you see his right hand with the seven stars. To feel his presence before you see his mouth with a two-edged sword coming out. 
to feel his presence before you see his countenance shine like the sun. So once you get into his presence, you know, if you I want like to see his presence more, you know, and get into his presence, then could it be Jesus might manifest and we'll see everything I just Ooh, read about? Glory. It's power when you want the presence of God, you know. And I'm going to repeat this again, Dr. O said. Dr. O said this. He said, I ain't going to never forget it because it, it, got, it just like, it hit me. He said, God is everywhere, but his presence is not. We have to stir up the gift that's been given us. One of the gifts is the fruits of the Spirit. That's one of the joys. You know, it's, God has given us a way to escape. He given us a way to rise above the snake line. I heard a prophet named uh, Bob Jones. He's gone home to be with the Lord. He, he said, you got to know how to rise above the snake line. Well, joy is that ascension. And speaking of ascension, do you know, huh, I think it's in Matthew, yeah, no, Luke. When Jesus went up and he blessed them, I think it's in 24, 51, 52, when he went up, they had joy. There was full, and Jesus, when Jesus ascended, which we're coming into now, the 40, on that 40th day, he ascended up on high to be with the Father. Uh, he went, came back to his throne, you know, and came back to his throne from John 17. He ascended, but there was joy upon those. They had the joy of the Lord, and they went back rejoicing, you know. And even over in Nehemiah, when, when the story about when they got the walls built and, they, and Nehemiah and Ezra came together and they gave all the orders that needed to be done for to set things in divine order the way God designed it to do because they went back celebrating the feast time. Israel had got away from the feast, but they got back in alignment with the kingdom. Mm. And what happened after that, they got all the singers and the worshipers together. And, but then they had, Jerusalem had so much joy. I call it the joy of Jerusalem. I would call it J-O-J, -J, the joy <laughs> of Jerusalem, right? That's another new name. J -J. Trademark, J-O-J, -J, <laughs> Joy of Jerusalem. Okay. Uh, they had so much joy, they said the people heard it from afar off. So I know, you know, I was there too in the scriptures because I know they had, they had that joy, they had, they had the shofar being sound. Mm. Yeah, so there was a joyful, because they heard the, the joy from afar off. So can you imagine we having joy in us and we having joy in our fellowship? People next door, people around the corner hear the joy of the Lord, it would bring them into the presence, and, and they will see all these smiling faces loving the Lord, and the, and the Shekinah glory be resting upon us, and it will minister to the lost. Joy, like my wife was saying, joy is a force, but it's also a, it's, it's a healing. It's, it's, a, it's, a, yes, it it's, a, it's the thing to open up dimensions that we can move into, you know? Uh, yeah. So hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, glory to God. That, glory. that Zephaniah, yeah. that was, that's, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. You know, yeah. what you made me think about also is um, the Bible talks about the joy of the Lord being our strength. Yeah. The joy of the Lord. And I never thought about it like that until today. Yeah. The joy of the Lord. Mm. So is it his joy <laughs> that we stirring up his within joy. us? Oh. His joy that he's given us. Yeah, his that joy. That he planted in us. His we joy in us. Says the joy mm. of the Lord. Ooh, his joy is in our us. strength. I think I better blow the show for on that one. I'm going to do it like my, <laughs> my brother. Shout out to our brother, Shafario Mario. Yeah, Glory we got to God. Brother Glory to God. Awesome <laughs> Shafario Mario. Also, I was You're thinking about one. people coming into the yeah. presence of God and don't really want to release that force of joy. Mm. But look at David. When mm. David, when he was bringing the Ark of the Covenant back, mm. and it said that David boogie. danced, danced, yeah. danced, danced, till his clothes Close. fell off. Yeah. Now boogie, that's boogie, releasing boogie. some force yeah. of joy. That's don't right. you think? Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. The, king, the king, the king was dancing, and the king was rejoicing. Ooh. Hallelujah. Mm. He danced till he danced his clothes off. Yeah. So when we come in the presence of the Lord and we're worshiping God, don't be afraid to dance. That's Don't right. be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to shout. Don't be afraid to run, to lift up your hands. Whatever you need to do to get your breakthrough, yeah. you do what you, you need do to what do. You do. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's activating something in the Activate. atmosphere for you. What Dr. Gene, I would say, keep it real. Keep it real dot com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. So, praise God. Wow. Where are we at? We're um, here rejoicing in rejoicing the Lord in the because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. You know, and then that was in Psalms 51, even you mentioned King David when uh, he, he had got in trouble with God and, and he had lost his joy. Over in Psalm 51, he said, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Remember mm. that in Psalm 51? 
You know, so you got to know how to, if you lose your joy, you got to ask God to restore it back. He's a God restore, refresh, and renew. And you, and you and like, it's like, it's like it never happened. When you ask God to forgive you or for something that you're doing and you know didn't happen. But David was a, a wise man. You know, he, he knew how to get in, in the presence of the Father and said that David seek the, the Father's heart. You know, mm. he was a man after God's own heart. But he knew how to ask for forgiveness. He knew how to get the joy restored back. So, I, you know, I, I pray that, that the joy, if you lost your joy, ask God to restore your joy. King David was a wise man. You know, it says Solomon had a lot of wisdom, but David had wisdom too. <laughs> and that brother knew how to ask for forgiveness. He knew how to yeah. walk and ask for, for uh, 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 to be restored back to right fellowship with you. You know, mm. so that might be an issue with some areas that, you know, only you and the Father knows about. Hey, you know, just ask the Lord, restore unto me the joy of my salvation, you know. And he's a loving God. He's a faithful God. And he, he, he is, with him is total shalom. You know, uh, there's a scripture in Psalms 89. Let me find it. Yeah. Okay, I, I got it right here, man. Psalms 89. 89... Um, 15, it says, justice, justice and judgment are the foundation of your throne, are righteousness and justice the foundation of your throne. Your loving kindness and truth will go before your presence. There's presence again. Bless all the people who know the joyful sound. That joyful sound is the sound of, uh, the joyful sound is the sound of the shofar. It's supposed mm. when you, that's why people, when they hear the sound, they go, woo. It stirs up their joy. That's one of the joyful sounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they walk and say, blessed are the people who Timberland know the joyful sound. Uh -huh. they, will they will walk with the Lord and in the light of his countenance or in the light of his presence. This w th they will rejoice exuberantly in your name all day and they will be exalted in your acts of loving kindness. For you are the glory of their strength and in your favor are the horns is exalted. For our defense is in the Lord, in the Holy One of Israel, our King. Amen? Amen. So Amen. it's the joy of Jesus. He was rejoicing over you with joy and singing. It was the Father rejoiced. He, he sings. He danced. Glory he to he God. shouts. Even, even, even in the book of Job, they said when the sons of God came to get to the sons of God, mm. they came and they shouted for joy. Hallelujah. So, Sons have to rise up on the earth and shout for joy. We all called to be sons. We all called to walk in, in the heavenlies. The Bible said that we're seated with Christ in heavenly in places. In heavenly places. Yeah, so you go up there where you seated at Heaven's full of joy. and shout joy to the earth. Shout the victory to the king. And that joy will penetrate the areas that need to know Yahshua. We have a powerful weapon in our mouth. Mm. We breathe his, you know, we breathe the very breath of God. We breathe his breath. Every now and then, I just thank God for just for breathing. Glory. And I'm learning some of them know how to breathe and worship God the right way, too. Man, it's amazing, you know, how to breathe and release. Breathe it in. You realize you're breathing in the, the, create, the almighty creator's breath into us. And it releases that joy. It releases that strength, you know. So we're getting ready to take out. I think we got a few more minutes. And um, Praise God. You know, it was a man, a guy that used to always say that. Yeah. If the devil can't get your joy, he can't keep your good. I think it was Jerry Seville. Yeah. He always say that. Yeah. If the devil can't get your joy, he can't, yeah. he can't keep your good. He's just right. Hallelujah. It, and, you so, know, he didn't steal the joy from Nehemiah. Yeah. Yeah. And 52 days. They were just all kind of opposition. Them brothers, it, bam. They yeah. was like. But they, it's a choice. Yeah, it's, it's a, a choice, choice of, joy. of our own will. Yeah. We yeah. have a choice. Yes. We have a choice how we respond to things. Mm -hmm. You might not always have control over situations and circumstances that happen, but we do have a choice over how we respond to it. That's right. That's so right. no matter what's going on, yeah. if you make a choice to rejoice before the Lord, Amen. to praise his holy name, praise above, and joy to stir up the joy you up. on yeah. the inside yeah. of you. Joy Hallelujah. calls you to ascend to his throne you know, and worship. Can you imagine? Can you just, as you start worshiping God, all of a sudden you just like... You know, you, and you, I mean, like you actually, like, you feel like you're just going up, you get higher and higher. And there's a song called You Can't Stop Praising His Name. You, yeah. you know the song, You Can't Stop. And, some, and sometimes it gets to going and you rise up. And then next thing you know, you just 
then you can speak to what needs to be changed. You can go back and smile to the person who spit in your face. You know yeah. what I was thinking about? Yeah. It just brought to my, my remembrance. I remember some family members coming over, and they come, and we're in our house, and we had a man of God on the TV, and there's worship going on. I think it was Kim Clement. Yeah. And we're just singing and praising and shouting, uh -huh. and we're, we had the flags, and we're at home in our living room. Yeah. And we got flags, and we're dancing around the house. <laughs> and we might not yeah. have had yeah. much in the bank account at yeah. all. Yeah. But it didn't matter. It didn't matter. You right. know, you can rejoice before the Lord. You can dance. You can sing because it's a choice of our will. That's right. And so we and were somebody, stirring up the force of joy. And somebody we were dancing. Yeah, we were right. singing. We was rejoicing. We right. was having a party with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, you know, you mentioned about bank account. You know, you'd be surprised. Sometimes joy would bring something into your, into your, into your presence that for financial miracles can come through in that way where you're not even worried about it. And all of a sudden, you just... Stuff people come up, say, Lord, say, hey, Lord, tell me to bless you with this, you know. So there are so many miracles that, that the foundation of joy give us, you know. I and was blessed recently, and actually, okay, I, I, I admit I look at Facebook sometimes. There was a doctor on Facebook uh -huh. that he gets up and he dances with his patients. What? And as he's dancing with his patients, mm -hmm. healing comes much faster. Yeah. They're Amen. stirred up, and their healing comes much faster. So I'm gonna release Glory the I'm gonna release the sound of joy into the atmosphere. Glory to God. It today in so Jesus' name. So as Tony's releasing the sound of the shofar, let the joy of the Lord make a decision, a conscious decision, to let the joy of the Lord well up on the inside of you, to stir up your joy, to sing praises unto God, to shout praises to his name, and to give him the praise and give him the honor and give him the glory and watch him give you the victory. Praise God, praise God, praise God. 